Out of Rock Pop 39 levels, there is one that really stands out for the challenge. The level is hidden with a small requirement to unlock and doesn't belong to any type of in any other levels. And just like Geometry Dash, what levels it lacks a difficulty phase, which brings the question if he had one, what will he be? I hope with enough analysis we're able to cover that out in this video. The challenge is actually one of the shortest levels in the game being less than 30 seconds, therefore defined as a short level. Huh, that explains why it doesn't have a star in. But it's just a theory. If it did however to be in the same category as Christmas Challenge by a drum and or a double triple trial by Michigan, a 2 star. But we're looking for the real difficulty here. The level starts off with a simple jump like so, which you normally see in levels like Trial, Time Machine, and even Deadlock, so I guess it's just something common. With that, followed by a blue pad with an indication to tell the player to go for it and not land down here. So the blue pad flips your gravity into a short upside down section and flips you back. You can see these in levels like X Step, Time Machine, and even Jumper. Well, so I guess we're getting into the harder or insane difficulty now. After hitting the first blue pad, you then jump at the end of the platform where you encounter another platform where there's a spike you meet when jumping. Even the inexperienced player will know not to jump there. The upside down section then comes to an end upon hitting the blue pad, and that's where things start to get interesting with the dash orb. After hitting a jump orb or ring, whichever one you call it, you encounter the dash orb used to launch yourself to the next platform. Since the level was poorly done, it introduces a lot of crazy swag rounds, which I'll get to later. In between the dash orb and the next one, we see some simple platform and orbs on which inexperienced players should handle with ease. Now, this is when things really start to get difficult for a short amount of time. This dash orb is meant to launch you to those green orbs where the first one there's a hard timing, and I really mean a hard timing one you even see in an extreme demon. Right after tapping the next green orb, you then rest for, I don't know, 2 seconds, but what do you expect? The challenge is only for like 20 seconds, so why do you even need to rest at all? And then the action continues with the exact same thing with the green or what's this copy and paste it? And finally, we get to an auto transition. Kinda. I think we'll need to count as auto. Anyways, we get into the spider section. Now compare the spider section with the one in either dash or finger dash. Yeah. The problem isn't the spider being insanely hard, but the ones in dash and finger dash being too easy. Like come on, I guess the pulses and DQ should make it harder as it causes disturbance to the player's eyes, I guess. Maybe the last spider section in finger dash is acceptable to make it insane, but come on, I prefer to use rock tops levels to analyze the difficulty since I don't know, he's the main creator I guess. And let's not forget about knocking which also has a spider part, but it's less tight. But I mean, that level is just a heart. So I can imagine the challenge being 6 star or 7 star after this. Some point to the level though is Ardu and there are some orbs that require no hard timings at all. Only to hit them and a lot of auto sections until you finally leave. Now you can do the easy thing by just taking the swag down or actually finishing the level. I mean it's got a challenge for a reason. But I don't know, this swag and the normal route are equally hard since you have to calculate when to even release in order not to counter any spikes while doing it. And it doesn't give you the joy that you've beaten the level legitimately so I advise you go for the normal section. And lastly, we have a few of those easy jumps from earlier to finish it off. I guess you have a face that's supposed to be some sort of sign that you're done. With all that said, what should be the difficulty? The length of the level is an important factor for the level's difficulty. If the level is shorter, you do with the challenge for a short amount of time. So let's say if the level were to extend it to a long, at least, we should get something like a 6 star review. But to be honest with you, I think this level should be a 3 or 4 star. I mean, it's harder than any geometry dashboard level and easier than most of the main levels. I mean, it don't take an inexperienced player so long to be the challenge. Are they being short though, it can take them as long as it took the player to be kind of go and knock it. And why I said the 3-star in the first place, there are some other sections that just ruin the challenge. And the cube section isn't that hard, but maybe I'm wrong at the end. I would like to know what your opinions are in the comments, I'm just expressing my thoughts here. So I don't think I'm right or anything. So in conclusion, hey Keymaster, you don't make a better challenge. So don't forget to, yeah, do what you see on the screen. So bye fellow dashers, it's the next. Don't forget to watch the two videos you see on the screen, or one of them, where I replicated Geometry Dash games. Bye.